All right, I hear these little mullets flopping. actually have my favorite bait in the entire world hooked up right now so bring us some good luck got a live cooker out on the back too I think he's swimming like an idiot like 10 yards in front of us right now on top of that water Ooh. Ooh, tarpon just swirled on him he's looking at him he's trying to get it Still trying to get it. Oh my god. Come on. I think he survived somehow. How did that happen? How did he miss? Oh my gosh. Man, that was a nice tarpon too. It's weird that he went after it three times and just gave up on it. Man, he got chased again. This is the luckiest little mullet. Ooh, back pull just got murdered. Back pull just got so murdered. Still on, he's still on. He's still on. Oh my god, he's taking the line out. What is this? Ah, oh, big jack. Another jack. This one's a lot bigger. These jack love these croakers. It's a good size jack. A lot bigger than those ones I was catching the other day. All right. <laughs> he screamed like a little girl. Alright, nice jack there, about 18 to 19 inches, definitely fought really hard. Let's get him back. Peace buddy, swims right away every time, love those fish. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? to get a big hookup featuring my co-star here. This is a big old manatee. It's like a tarpon rolling right here. I'll try to stay low this time. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God, that was a thud. Big trout. Big, big sea trout. I was not expecting that at all. That's a stud. That is a freaking stud. I just flipped them too because I thought I felt the hook not set properly. I was right. He came right off. Let's see how big he is. It's a big, it's not 17, it's a big 17. That's insane. It's fat. All right, this is probably the fattest, beautiful, slimiest. Oh my gosh. There we go. 
Look how pretty this is. Crazy. Let's put them back. Uh, all right, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Good. I couldn't hold him any longer. Crazy. Literally hit. Within 40 seconds, ate the mullet. And then flipped him in the boat. Whew, let's see if we can get another one. Maybe a little less slimy. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I blew it. I blew it. That's why you don't set the hook on a circle hook. Man, another 45 seconds. All right. Let's see if this one takes 45 seconds. Just gotta be a little more patient with that hook set. All you need to do is just reel down on it. Oh, big tarpon rolled out there. Come on, tarpon just rolled out there. Pretty good sized alligator right there. Probably didn't like that I plumped a mullet on his head. Alright guys, I just want to close out this video by sharing with you some local knowledge that I've learned after a few times of fishing back here in the Ogalley River. So as you saw in the intro, I came through uh, Indian I came through Ballard Park and this first area is where I fished mostly the last couple of times. I've been afraid to go back because if you ever fished Crane Creek, once you get past this railroad bridge, it becomes pretty hairy on what the water depth is. So after talking to a local who was sitting on their dock drinking some coffee, uh, I saw that he had a flat skiff and I asked him how far back you can actually go now that they've dredged out this river. And he said you can go about a thousand yards up to the spillway, which is kind of disappointing because I was hoping to fish back here. Uh, but the, one of the main reasons why I'm making this video right now, this screencast, is I wanted to show you a lot of people were getting in trouble. There's no real buoy marking this off. Somebody put a crab trap here to signify that this is where they stopped dredging. So as you can see, it goes from about nine feet and it just goes to maybe about a foot, two feet of water, depending on the water level that day. So I ended up having to turn around right here. So if you're in a bigger boat, just be careful coming back here. They dredged all the way up until you can see it's a few feet from the edge itself so you can't ride the shoreline uh, I saw dolphins with their dorsal fins out here just chasing bait so it's probably about a foot deep on the edges but it is safe if you have a bigger boat all the way back this is nine feet of water and then it opens up to no joke like 19 feet of water is what I registered over here uh, so really cool that they dredged out this river. Really exciting to see, especially according to that guy on his dock, how fast all these fish are moving in. I mean, this project just finished up. Uh, they're starting to move down in this direction now. Uh, but a lot of oxygen being introduced in the water with that new depth. Uh, like I said, that guy was telling me that was four feet in the middle was the deepest before this dredging project. And now it's nine to 20 feet you know all the way through so that's gonna bring in a lot of fresh water and a lot of oxygen and hopefully restore this nursery that has been here for thousands of years and just has been completely mucked up so hopefully the muck stays out and doesn't settle back in for a while and hopefully they go down to Crane Creek next because it would be cool to start fishing back in here again alright guys till next time uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, especially if you're a local fisherman. I'm trying out new spots, especially coming up in the summer here. If you haven't been following along, I'm a school teacher, so def I have about eight weeks in the summer to explore all new areas. If you have any suggestions for me, uh, new areas I should check out, I believe I'm going to start up here in this Merritt Island area next. Let me know in the comments below. For those of you who have subscribed, uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Peace!